All right, crew, today we're going to take a look at two different techniques for saving stuff out so you can use it on a water jet or later cutter, laser cutter or plasma cutter, whatever it might be, right? The first one is we're going to start off with this like sheet metal part. We can flatten this guy. And now we need some sort of 2D profile from the flatten, right, to, to import to our laser cutting software. All you need to do for this one is right click. And the menu down here, there's going to be export to DXF DWG. Looks like it's going to make me save the file. DXF or DWG. I'm just going to leave it the default name there. Next, we're presented with this interface on the left hand side that kind of tells us based off what we selected, what we're going to save. So it's going to include the holes. There's where we're going to also put our coordinate alignment if we needed to, to do that. And output is a DXF file. Okay, not bad. So that's the first one. All right, so that's it for this one. The next one we're going to look at is a little bit different. It's going to be like a shoe file. And this room requires flattened surface. So I'm going to go to my surfacing tab and locate the flattened surface tool. I'm going to give that a click. Remember, if you don't see that, you can just search it in the upper right-hand corner, searching commands. Next, I'm going to select a series of faces that I need to flatten. Uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and select a couple faces for us to flatten. Hold some control zones. And you can adjust your slider for more or less accuracy. It changes the mesh density. And then we'll green check this. Now I can take a piece of fabric, throw it on a laser cutter, and cut that exact swatch out, right? So this one's already flattened. We just need to save it as a DXF. Same functions apply here. Export to DXF DWG. Save the file. Look at the DFX format. Save it. And then throw it on our CNC or laser cutter or plasma cutter or whatever, it, whatever you're using, you know. There we have it. Cool. Hope you learned something new on this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.